Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog and hello if you're new here. My name is Kelly and I make lots of lifestyle videos, lots of vlogs at the minute and, and I'm currently a stay at home mum to my little girl Nelly who is nearly two months old which is so so scary, um, time is just flying by. It is currently 8.20 and my morning started ages ago. <laughs> um, I've just pumped for the second time this morning. I'm trying to up my supply a little bit because it has dipped slightly just because Nelly has been really colicky and I haven't been able to pump as often as I should. So I'm just trying to increase that slightly. Um, so yeah, a lot of pumping is needed. Nelly woke up for a feed. She slept for seven hours last night. Um, so she woke up for a feed about half six and then straight afterwards fell back asleep, which seems to be the pattern that she's going for at the minute. So fingers crossed that is kind of like her routine at the moment because, yeah, I'm not mad about it. Although there's a load of seagulls, I think, sat on the roof, so they've probably just woken her up through the skylight, but never mind. Um, I've literally just come in the front room to pump. I haven't left her. Don't panic. I know I've got to be with her. Um, I'm literally going to go back in as soon as I've finished filming this clip. But my pump machine wakes her up every single time. So I've started coming down here to pump and then go back up just so that it, she's not got that broken sleep because she is cranky as hell if she doesn't get the sleep she needs. Um, but yeah, she slept for seven hours last night, which was really, really good. So we all got a good night's sleep. Um... And I just had to wake up once in the night to pump, which was fine. Ash went to work for five o'clock. Um, I'm on my second cup of tea of the day as well. So yeah, it's just a bit of a leisurely morning. I haven't really got too much to do cleaning wise. I'm quite on top of it. We've got a new schedule where we're doing a different room every night um, just to keep on top of it a little bit more. And it seems to be working so far. So. Fingers crossed we can keep up with it. Nelly has her jabs next week though, so I've got a feeling that might throw a spanner in the works. What else to report? Yeah, so I just thought I would do another little day in the life. They seem to be quite popular recently. Um, not really much to do. Just gonna spend the day with Nelly when she wakes up fully. Um, and I think that might be now, to be fair. Um, and then maybe get out for a walk hopefully later. I've been trying to do my 10,000 steps a day. We found a new walk to go on. I'm not quite confident enough to go on my own just yet because it's a little bit off the beaten track and it's a little bit, um, what's the word? One of those areas you wouldn't necessarily want to go, um, on your own if you're a woman. You probably know the kind that I'm on about. Um, it's just a little bit too quiet. So yeah, I'm not confident enough to do that on my own just yet. I think it would be absolutely fine. There's loads of dog walkers that go down there um, in the daytime. So I think it would be absolutely fine, but I wanna get some wireless headphones so at least I can put some music on really low in the background, obviously still hit Nelly. Um, but yeah, just to give me that little boost. So Ash is actually buying some for my birthday, which is coming up very, very soon. Um, the big 3-0. But yeah, so I've only got a couple of weeks hopefully to wait for that. I think he's waiting for payday and then he's going to get them so I can always have them earlier. Um, but to be fair, I'm quite enjoying going out for a walk like as a family in the evening. It's been quite nice. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I am going to put my milk in the fridge, make Nelly's next bottle up and give her her medicine as well, which I'm doing through the bottle. Then I'm going to take my cup of tea down to the bedroom hope that the noises I can hear are in her sleep because she does have quite an active sleep so I'm hoping she falls back asleep even if she's awake just for a little bit longer um and then I can hopefully get dressed and ready for the day and even maybe squeeze in a chapter or two of my book which I'll try and remember to show you if I get to read it
That's me all done. Oil in the hair, I'm just using that Avon one. Um, skincare all done, like a basic skincare at the minute. I'm gonna try it and add to our evening routine, me doing a little bit of evening skincare and actually just like making my face feel a little bit better, especially now I'm reaching the big 3-0. I can definitely see the wrinkles, especially with the tiredness as well. Um, but I think I mentioned on this channel in another vlog, possibly, um, I'm a little bit like all over the place at the minute with what I filmed, what I haven't filmed. Um, but I set up like, I guess you would call it like little stations um, of things to do. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I've set up this morning. I'm also hoping to be able to do an online baby sensory class. Um, if Nelly will let me, she managed about three minutes of it last time so I'm glad I didn't have to pay for it is all I can say um but yeah anyway this is what I've set up so so obviously she needs to have a nappy change so that's all set up I've also piled up her clothes for the day as well so I can do that at the same time no doubt she won't stay in those clothes all day because we keep having poon armies but there we go um then I've set up a little bit of tummy time so we've got a few little bits and bobs just to try and get her looking around. Um, she only lasts a few minutes on that, but that's absolutely fine. And I'm also gonna try my best, depending on what time she wakes up, to get her to have a go on the play gym. So it's obviously got this bit, and then if I move it out of the way. Um, we also bought her a kick piano thing, which she quite likes when she's in the mood for it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get her to do that as well. And then hopefully after that, she can have her bottle. But yeah, it all depends on what mood she's in when she wakes up because yesterday she was an absolute nightmare. She didn't want to do anything. She didn't want to eat. She's discovered that she's got a tongue. So all she does is stick her tongue out, um, which is really annoying when you're trying to feed her because she doesn't understand that by sticking her tongue out and just licking the end of the bottle, she doesn't quite realize that isn't gonna feed her. And then she's screaming because she's hungry. Um, and then on top of that, she's screaming because she's got colic, so it's all a bit chaotic. Um, but fingers crossed, she is in a better mood than yesterday because I don't really want another day like yesterday if I can help it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and attempt to sit on the bed and read my book. And she'll probably wake straight up if she's not already. Someone's not in a good mood this morning, are you? Someone is awake and dressed. Very grumpy though today. Probably not the best day to be blogging, but never mind. I'm just catching up with some YouTube, just watching Lydia Elise Millen at the minute. Um, and hoping that she might have a nap in a little bit. We've done tummy time. We've had to go in the play gym, albeit a very, very small amount. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's had two bottles, a nappy change, and she's partway filled for filling another nappy. So... All fun. But yeah, I'm hoping she might have a nap in a little bit. She's on her way there, so fingers crossed. But because of the colic, she doesn't actually want to lie on her back, which is a bit of a pain, but we just have to roll with it. Nelly, Nelly, the dragon's left Fairford. That's what you can hear. There's no point in looking for it, it's too high up. See, by the time it gets to us, it's too high up, isn't it? Apologies if you can hear the washing machine. Um, nothing I can do about that. I have stopped the microwave for a minute, though, so. Half of the noise is gone. And Nelly is just down for a nap. I'm just in the middle of having my lunch. Um, and my boots of order arrived, so I just thought I'd show you what I picked up. Um, 
just a little top up order so i've ordered they have their tuesday um 10 pound what's it called treat tuesday or something like that something like that where things are 10 pound so i picked up so I picked up the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream Lip Protectant Stick SPF 15. I can't wait to give that a go. I also picked up a couple of more of the Mum Anti-Colic Bottles. These are in the next size up, I believe. Um, I just need to order newer teats or like different teats um, because, yeah, they are massive actually I didn't realize they were gonna be quite as big as that but I'm running out of like the time to be able to sterilize so yeah I just wanted to pick up a couple because they're not the cheapest of bottles but they do seemingly work well with Nelly so we're sticking with those so I ordered a couple of those I just need to get the slower tea because she's not four months yet and with that came a free Easter soother which I thought was quite cute um, and yeah it's coming good timing because one of her ones is already on the way out and then last but not least she's been really um dry like on her elbows and stuff so i've picked up the child's farm baby moisturizer um and hoping that that does the job I'm just writing, or not writing, I'm just sorting out a blog post that's going to go up um, next week because I've been having guest posts or guest posters over on my blog just whilst everything's a little bit hectic here. So I'm just sorting that out. And of course, a little madam decides to wake up and I'm midway through doing that. But I can't complain because she's been asleep for two and a half hours. That's the longest nap she's had all week. Oh, beautiful. You fart in every time you stretch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yours, and now we're singing.